Hi this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games and I'm just going to do a setup video for my Nintendo 3DS capture card on my laptop and uh, what I'm going to do in this video is show you the easiest way to uh, capture not only the uh, picture but also the sound with commentary. Now this isn't the best quality for the sound and commentary and I'll explain why in a minute but it is going to be your easiest way. So let's just quickly look at what we need. Obviously we need a laptop or computer, doesn't matter which. Obviously you need your 3DS with your capture card fitted and uh, you, with that you get supplied an audio filter which I'm not going to use and uh, also you get the USB cable which obviously I need to use. Now usually I would be setting it up with this but I've got a compatibility issue with my laptop which is why I've made it into an easiest but not the best quality sound way video so um, that's the reason why generally you shouldn't have a problem it just seems to be my laptop has a bit of a issue and I've been getting the music glitching when I'm connecting it direct so we're just not going to connect it direct um, although you usually would just connect this up to your headphone socket and then you would need to buy one of these which is a mail to mail cable costs about two pounds off of eBay or Amazon and then you just connect that up with this into your headphone socket and then it goes into the lining into the side of your computer or wherever it's situated in your computer that's how you usually connect the sound but I'm not going to do that because like I said I've got a compat uh, compatibility issue so let's move on okay so we are just going to connect up the USB cable to the bottom here and uh, it seems to go upside down which is rather strange but there you go clicks in the bottom there and then it just goes into your USB lead uh, obviously into your socket which I'm going to show you here into the side here or wherever your USB lead is obviously I don't know where you're going to have yours situated and that will connect up to your computer or laptop and um, then what I'm going to do for the sound instead of using my audio cable and filter I have got a USB headset with microphone and that means I can do the commentary at the same time and I just plug it into my USB on the other side that's why I said it's the easiest way because this is all you need and I've got I have got a couple of USB lead USB sockets but a couple of them are broken on my laptop but fortunately I've got one more working so that's all connected up as I said this is the easiest way I will do a full way to show you how to do the sound properly if you like in another video so I've connected up my headset and uh, let's move on again okay so here we are I've got Super Mario uh, new Super Mario Brothers 2 and we're gonna just do a bit of a recording of that and you can see very simply got it connected up my 3DS which I'm going to turn on USB and then I've got my USB headset over there that's all I've got connected now what you're going to need to do is go onto the site and I'm going to show you that very quickly um, to download your software from the uh, 3DS capture card site and um, it's very very simple I'm going to show you that right now Right, we're on 3dscapture.com. This is the site of the guy who uh, makes the 3DS capture cards. And basically, he's got some software, and um, it's just here. And literally, all you need to do is uh, download it. It's as simple as that. You're probably not going to need the driver. You can check into that if you need it. You almost certainly won't. But um, obviously, check that out. okay you can see the software's downloaded you're all plugged in you're all ready to go we have got 3ds capture so um, let's just you can see it there I'm just going to double click it I'm going to zoom back out and we will be away and recording in just a few seconds okay so we have turned on the 3ds we've got Mario running as you can see bottom left I'm just going to double click in here and it just says run or cancel obviously I need to run it there you go straight away boom it is on your screen and uh, you can zoom it up there you go now um, you can just mess around with it 
Um, I'm not going to show you how to do anything fancy. If you want to record in the software supplied, you're only going to be able to do top screen only, bottom screen only, um, or both like this. You won't be able to do any sort of fancy arrangements, but you can by um, connecting up to different software like Sony Vegas, Fraps, stuff like that. So you can mess around and do other things, but not in the software supplied. So you can probably see just about, if I zoom in, there is a record button there. There you go, there's the record button. Now let me just show you the uh, settings. So here we go, video settings. Now it comes up as Microsoft Video One. You can fiddle around with your settings. You can pretty well do what you like, but I've just left it exactly how I found it and um, because it's it works fine and um, if, if I mess around with it it's probably going to be worse so if I have a problem I'll change it at that point so it chooses 30 frames per second now you can see this bit here if I zoom in again it says both screens top or bottom and um, it'll obviously record both screens top or bottom so let's just um, should we just do the top I don't know let's just do the top let's just do the top okay all I do is hit that then I go into my audio settings now um, it's picked up my headset microphone and um, I've got issues with my other settings for the sound so I'm gonna pick headset microphone okay so that means we are ready to record Mario's all running we're gonna just get off and start Okay, so I'm going to literally um, just do some recording right now for you and I'm going to add this bit of recording which I'm doing in this video to the end of this video just to show you it works all properly. So I've got my headset on which is echoing backwards and forwards and obviously because I've not got the sound connected I'm going to need to turn it up and do the recording. So here we go. So you will have to fiddle around if you do it like this to get the perfect. So I haven't probably got it, I might have it too loud or too quiet. But let's just get on and now pretend we're gonna play and record. So we're gonna start. And we're just gonna go on a random, random level. And we're recording by hitting the red button. And uh, you'll be able to hear this now in the end video. So I'm gonna pretend I am playing it and hopefully you will get you won't get that great sound because I'm round the wrong side it'll come out better now and um, here we go so oops you can see I'm as bad as ever but um, the actual game is as good as ever so it's pretty easy to set up like this obviously it's not ideal with the sound it's not going to give you perfect sound like I said, I will make another video just to, uh, once I've got that audio issue sorted out. But this is the easiest way to just get your commentary in and the sound. And you can mess around with the sound settings and it actually sounds fine. It's just that obviously if you have a bit of a button mashing, whoops, button mashing game, you're going to hear yourself clicking on it. So let's leave it here, otherwise it'll be going on forever. And um, I'm going to uh, see you in another video very soon, hopefully this will help you. So thanks for watching. And we're recording by hitting the red button and uh, you'll be able to hear this now in the end video. So I'm going to pretend I am playing it and hopefully you will get you won't get that great sound because I'm round the wrong side. It'll come out better now. And um, here we go. So. Oops. You can see I'm as bad as ever. But um, the actual game is as good as ever. So it's pretty easy to set up like this. Obviously it's not ideal with the sound. It's not going to give you perfect sound. Like I said, I will make another video 
just to uh, once I've got that audio issue sorted out but this is the easiest way to just get your commentary in and the sound and you can mess around with the sound settings and it actually sounds fine it's just that obviously if you have a bit of a button mashing whoops button mashing game you're gonna hear yourself clicking on it so that's leave it here otherwise it'll be going on forever and um, I'm gonna uh, see you in another video very soon hopefully this will help you so thanks for watching.